Right, today I've come to this part to do some action for testing and today's testing is going to be the field of view. So today I've picked this bandstand on the park as you can see it's fairly new. It's chopping to bits isn't it? I thought it'd just be a good subject to get real close just so I'll be able to show you from a static point on the camera the three focal lengths which the Action 4 offers. Right so on the Action 4 you'll be able to get three focal lengths and the first one will be standard D warp and that'll get you 15 millimeter equivalent and then you'll have the wide angle and that'll get you 12 millimeter equivalent and then on the final one which is ultra wide you'll get 11 millimeter equivalent. So on the Action 4 to select the field of views just tap the icon to the right select the FOV there and the first one will be standard D warp and that'll get the lens to 15 millimeters the second one down is wide and that'll get you 12 millimeters and the final one's ultra wide and that'll get you 11 millimeters this is quite a good demonstration just in real time as you can see it moving there from the standard D warp to the wide and then to the ultra wide if I do that fast you'll be able to see the focal length change quite rapid there so it's a fair comparison I won't be switching between resolutions on this shot we're just keeping it in 4k 30. so now i'm filming on the action 4 and this is set at standard d warp and this is at 15 millimeter equivalent and now we've moved over to the wide angle and this is at 12 millimeter equivalent and now we've switched over to the ultra wide option which gives you 11 millimeter equivalent and now i've done some static field of view tests with the action 4. i'm now going to go over to a vlogger's point of view and I'll be holding the Action 4 this far away at all times, just so it's a fair comparison. Now I'm going to switch over to the Action 4 and we'll do the field of view test from a vlogger's point of view. Here we go. So this is standard D-warp at 15mm. And now this is the wide angle at 12mm. There's just a little bit of difference there I can see. And this is the ultra wide at 11mm. And on this one you can see a slight difference yet again. So when I'm filming on the Action 4, I always film in standard D-warp at 15mm because I prefer the natural straight look as you can see with these lines here but then when I switch to the wide which I'll switch to now at 12mm you'll see these start to bow just like the fisheye look so as you can see them lines aren't as straight now they're just bowing slightly and that really bugs me now you can fix that in post but the standard D-warp to be fair is quite a good focal length and now I'll switch over to the ultra wide at 11mm now you can see at the ultra wide option at 11mm you get a lot more in the frame but as you can see any straight lines will start to warp. So now I've done the field of view testing on the Action 4. I feel sorry for the Pocket 3, I don't want to leave it out. So I'm going to do some focal range testing on that as well. So now I'm filming on the Pocket 3 and the field of view with this at standard is 20mm but you can get a snap on magnetic lens which I've got here. And I'll snap that on as I'm filming so you can see. Keep your eye on these straight lines. This is now filming at the 20mm. This is going to reduce it to 15mm. Here we go. Now they're not so straight anymore. Now you can see you've got curved lines. And again, when I take it off, they're back to straight. I'm not really a fan of the wide angle lens because it really does interfere with these straight edges, as you'll see again. So that's it, a 20mm lens on the Pocket 3. And there's your 15mm with the Pocket 3. So now there's some field of view tests with the Pocket 3 from a vlogger's point of view. Now this is with a 20mm lens. I'll just snap the 15. There you go. I will say it's a lot better for vlogging at the 15mm lens on the Pocket 3. Especially when there's no straight lines around. It just gives you that nice wide angle without distorting anything. And when you take it off. As you can see it's just the same. So that was just a short video today just covering the field of view on the Action 4 and the Pocket 3. So just to recap on the Action 4 you've got three focal lengths. The first one being standard D-warp at 15mm, the second one being wide at 12mm and the third and final one the ultra wide at 11mm and then on the Pocket 3 it just comes as standard at 20mm and then you get your snap on magnetic lens which reduces it to 15mm. Just like that. So for me personally, when I use the Action 4, I always keep it in standard D-warp at 15mm, as I prefer that look. And on the Pocket 3, I sometimes use that magnetic lens to reduce it to 15mm, but not all the time. 
So that brings me to the end of the video. I'm hoping this field of view test on the Action 4 and the Pocket 3 helps you out in certain scenarios, whether it be vlogging or you're just filming stationary objects. So again, thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and bye for now.